This is one of the last orchards in Silicon Valley, located in Los Altos, surrounding the city hall. The city purchased the orchard from Gilbert Smith in 1954, under the condition that Mr. and Mrs. Smith would remain in their house and keep one acre of surrounding land for life. Now the house belongs to the Los Altos History Museum, which hosted an apricot stem fair on June 24, 2018, to connect apricots with science and technology. It's like not like, you know, like okay, we've got fresh apricot, then we have dried apricots and different apricot jams and preserves. And you can taste the difference in the sweetness level, the acidic level, which makes it tart and sweet, um, between the fresh, dried, and the apricot jams and preserves. And then on the chart, we show the different stages of ripening the apricot and the different ratios of sugar, fructose, glucose, and sucrose, in the skin and in the flesh, as well as the acids. And the intensity of the sugars and the acids change as you go from fresh to dry to a product. One of the sponsors, 23andMe, demonstrates how to extract DNA from an apricot. Of apricots, soap, salt, and water. That's it. That's it. Can it be any soap or does it have to We just use liquid dishwashing soap or. Yeah. Hi guys. You guys ready to see some DNA being extracted? You can come up right here. I'm just going to pour this into the test tube and this is just rubbing alcohol and the rubbing alcohol what it does is it makes the DNA clump together so I'm going to pour it on top And you see all the white stuff in there for me? I'm going to put some more alcohol in there. Ah, so I suppose that's what that stuff is in the bottom. Yes, it is. See, it's getting, you see this bubble forming at the bottom of all that stuff? That's the DNA. DNA is what tells you what color your eyes are going to be, what color your hair is going to be, if you're going to be tall or short. And it's actually really it's a sticky and stringy. It's like a spider web. Here. Because it's what we call a polymer. See that? On the end of the stick there? That's the DNA. That's a recipe for an apricot. There is also a demonstration on how to dry apricots. Just cut like that and then take the seed out put in your bucket and then you put them very close together because when you dry them they shrink up so there's you know more too much space so um, when I was a child we got paid 50 cents a tray to cut apricots and um, after they were finished our tray was full also this would have been a bad apricot my grandmother would have thrown it out because you're not supposed to get a tear and the apricot but anyway then after the tray was finished um, they you would yell for another tray and they'd come and just put one right on top of this but I started when I was about nine and so I was lucky to get one tray done in the morning and so I got 50 cents in the morning and then 50 cents in the afternoon but then after the trays were done and they'd come through and pick them all up and they'd put them on uh, like a, a train cart like a small cart and they'd push them into sulfur houses we had two sulfur houses on our property and uh, they would stay overnight and then in the morning they would take them out and lay them all out on the uh, out on the around the orchard we have a, had a big drying area so they'd lay them out there for about five days and we'd scrape the trays and put them in the boxes and we'd um, put them store them in uh we had cherries too so we had a cherry stand and we'd put them in the cherry stand and sell them to usually mariani food company and um some other places so that was kind of the process and then the seeds were dried and sold to a perfume company that's 
basically the process. In the meantime, there's food tasting featuring apricots as the main ingredient. While Los Altos art docents are teaching children to paint on unripe apricots here, the bountiful history of the heritage orchard meets a beautiful future.